Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life Apollo's home of the most trusted beard in automotive news. Happy to have you here. Now, listen, guys, we have an excellent program in store for you this evening. Uh, a lot of great uh, newer channels that I want to make sure that we can recommend to you because that's that's part of my job here, give you guys some good new stuff to think about. But we also have to talk about Whistle and Diesel because over the last 24 hours, uh, the chaos that has consumed him and his channel and a future video we think is coming has been nothing short of insanity. Yes, guys, you saw the title correctly. Hawaii is furious at Whistle and Diesel. We're going to dive into everything that has happened. This might be his most contentious video yet. But if I could ask you guys a really quick favor, if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed already and you think I've earned it by grinding out quality content over time, make sure to hit that sub button. Make sure to hit the like button too. It helps Megan and I out tremendously and we very much appreciate it. And with that beard nation welcome to the show all right guys we're gonna dive right into our main headline story because there is an absolute ton of things that have happened just over a one day period uh, so this all started with someone tagging me in a recent post from whistle and diesel and it's this one right here it's a two-parter with someone sending him a direct message saying i can promise you won't be taking that truck to hawaii and driving in lava those mountains are sacred to us so don't even try it I love your channel and what you do, but if you take your truck, you will not be welcome with open arms. I just saw your last video about your camera guy. Don't make me change my opinion on you. Whistle and Diesel responded immediately saying, I'm 100% taking it there to drive in lava and you're gonna like it. He put up a secondary picture afterward. Someone saying, you're not gonna take your truck to Hawaii. I bet you my life. Him just saying, yes, I am. With the caption below saying, angry Hawaiians strike again. Unfortunately, I had no choice but to book the freight to Hawaii. He went on to share another Instagram photo uh, showing sort of a meme-like activity saying what people think Hawaii is like, what it's actually like, saying try come to Hawaii and drive into the volcano. I know exactly where you will be and we'll have no problem throwing you in with the truck. The caption below saying America's top 10 most sensitive states Hawaii. Now you can imagine that after these first uh, mega Instagram posts went live, it caused, I would imagine, a number of other Hawaiians to get extraordinarily angry with the prospect of him driving the truck out on lava. So he put up another picture, guys. Uh, someone saying, pull up to Hawaii so I can bury you. Uh, learn your history first, keep it up, and when your truck gets here, you'll be history too. Aloha, saying driving that POS on sacred sites, I also can't promise you that you'll make your flight back back home. Try and search up how many outsider white folks died in Hawaii in a year. Believe me, they're not all accidents. Keep it up and you may just end up on that list. Aloha. Uh, Whistle and Diesel putting the caption below saying that's my good old friendly Hawaiians. And here's the last picture he put up just two hours ago uh, showing him standing on, on the very fabled truck just looking up at a volcano. Obviously it's a render but the caption below says it all. I'm coming for you Hawaii and there's nothing you can do about it. Whew. Okay, so now you guys have all the information about sort of what's going down. It really sounds at this point, I've never known him to sort of make up something that he wasn't going to at least try to do. Uh, I would imagine we're going to see Monster Max out in Hawaii, uh, pro presumably driving on lava in some way, shape, or form. Uh, this is going to be really contentious for a number of reasons. Uh, as you saw in some of the messages, a lot of Hawaiians uh, definitely consider these sites to be sacred. So I, I really don't don't know how well received he's going to be when he goes out there uh, but I would imagine if I had to guess that's part of the charm of what this is and charm might be the wrong word here but essentially what he's trying to do is gin up so much craziness that it's probably gonna get national news attention uh, taking that incredibly massive truck out to Hawaii uh, that recently had active volcanoes and still does uh, this is gonna be a pretty crazy thing. Imagine sort of what it was sort of driving uh, Monster Max in the ocean, and now we're gonna see it on lava. I would imagine this is the sort of video that could probably get 20 million views plus, if I had to guess. But obviously guys, unlike the ocean where there were a couple of Coast Guard folks that seemed to be a little bit perturbed, we're talking about a much larger group of people uh, that might not be too happy about this. Uh, obviously, I don't know if the, the threats of violence are really a good thing, uh, even considering sort of the severity of what's being planned. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Uh, no doubt will make massive news whenever it supposedly happens. Uh, 
I, I'm just gonna be sort of watching and we'll be commenting on it whenever it does, but this is a pretty crazy thing and I wanted to make sure I brought it to you guys first. Next up guys, moving right along, if there was any way to transition from that, I really don't know a good way, but I'm gonna dive into something that's super beneficial for all of you watching and that's a video recently done by Four Wheel Trader. It's called Why You'll Regret Buying a Car Right Now. No doubt guys, uh, Four Wheel Trader has the best depreciation analysis of any channel on YouTube. I cannot think of anyone that does it better. The graphs, the charts, everything that he does is phenomenal and his expertise on the used car market in particular is fantastic. Make sure to go check it out guys. Uh, it definitely persuaded me to wait on buying a new car for some period of time. Great channel, make sure to sub. Next up guys, a fantastic video from Protective Film Solutions on a daily driven exotics car. The video is entitled The Brutal uh, McLaren 720 GTR. What went into this build? Uh, you're gonna wanna check this out guys. PFS does a phenomenal job uh, sort of doing what they do and doing it on YouTube and they do it at such an incredibly high level. Uh, I have no doubt the channel is gonna blow up here over the next year. Make sure to sub now so you can say you were one of the first. Gotta make sure I mention Ammo NYC guys. Uh, just one of the coolest channels in terms of watching something and just finding gratification and just witnessing what's occurring. Uh, the video is called First Wash in 10 Years. It's on an extraordinarily rare Porsche. These are the kind of videos that made me fall in love with the Ammo NYC channel. And I think you just watch one video from them and you're gonna see why I'm talking about them in the way that I am. Incredible detailing channel. Uh, just some of the coolest stuff ever. Did a big hypercar uh, sort of wash and detailing a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is the kind of stuff you can expect from them on a weekly basis. Go check it out. Next up guys, I wanna mention Ted Word. Uh, so Ted Word is sort of, I don't wanna say a brand new channel, at least from our perspective, we're starting to recommend it to you guys. It's a POV driving channel and their latest video, 1999 Rolls Royce Silver Spur, the end of the British era, is just a fantastic illustration of what's good about this channel. The first video that I ever saw from him was the Lexus LFA POV and it was magical. And I've been watching a lot of his videos since and I think you guys will really like what he's throwing down in this video as well. Skimming through the rest of the news guys, we got Vin Wiki latest video, uh, what do hypercar owners ask for at a five star hotel? Uh, you know, supercar ownership and hypercar ownership are incredibly different. Uh, if you wanna see what that really means, watch this video. Uh, some of the requests are just absolute bonkers. Uh, you watch the first couple seconds of the video, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Excellent video from VinWiki, don't miss it. And our last two for the day, guys. One from Shmi, collecting my SLS. First time my Black Series trio are together. Uh, yeah, we talk about number one Lamborghini ambassadors on the internet, whether it's uh, Stradman or Daily Driven Exotics. I think the Black Series uh, best ambassador ambassador now is definitely Shmi. Go check it out. Fantastic video from him. And then we have Hoobie's Garage, guys. Everything wrong with my cheap broken Hummer H1. Wizard was thrilled. Uh, Hoobie's Garage always has great videos and I've been a fan of his for years. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys tonight. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about the main story about Whistle and Diesel and Hawaii and Lava. Uh, who knew that that's where we'd be in the automotive community moving forward? Uh, we talk about it a lot because he's in the news more than any other automotive YouTuber right now. And I, I, and I would assume this pattern is going to continue as long as he keeps one-upping himself like he just did. Anyway, guys, have a great rest of your evening. Make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. I'm out. Bye.